Hi everyone, I'm Chief Paco Balderrama with the Fresno Police Department. I'm here today to talk to you about gun safety and specifically storing guns. As a father and the Chief of the Fresno Police Department, keeping our children safe is a top priority for me. Each year in the United States, nearly 350 children ages 17 and under gain access to a firearm and unintentionally shoot themselves or someone else. Every year, nearly 700 children, 17 and under, die by suicide with a gun. Every adult can play a part in keeping children and communities safer by simply storing guns safely. Gun owners can make our homes and communities safer by being smart. S stands for storing, storing their firearms unloaded and locked with ammunition kept in a separate place to prevent access by children and other people who are at risk of harming themselves or others. This includes our homes and in our vehicles. Firearm storage practices should include three methods employed in combination, unloading the ammunition, locking the firearm, and storing the firearm and ammunition in separate locations. Gun owners should remove all ammunition from the firearm, including removing any chambered rounds. Unloaded firearms should be secured with a firearm locking device, such as a jacket lock or in a locked location, like a safe or locked box. Ammunition should be stored separately from the firearm in a secure location. Locking devices, safes, and locking boxes are equipped with keys, combinations, or biometric technology that limit access. Remember, firearm locks do not prevent gun theft. If you would like a free gun lock, uh, all you have to do is go to any Fresno Police Department uh, police station or headquarters. We all play an important role in keeping the children in our community safe from unintentional gun injury or death. Now my friend Dr. Nicole Webb is going to share with you some additional ways you can keep your children safe. Thanks Chief Balderrama. My name is Dr. Nikki Webb and I'm a pediatrician at Valley Children's Healthcare. As a pediatrician and as a mom, I understand how much you love and want to keep your children safe. So let's talk about some other ways to keep children safe around guns. Children are very curious and they do not see the danger that guns pose. So the M in SMART stands for modeling. Adults should model responsible behavior around guns because children are always watching. This includes not unloading or cleaning them around children. Talk to your children about guns. If you see a gun, don't touch it. Tell an adult right away. Tell children not to touch a gun, even if it looks like a toy. And it's important to assure children that they won't get in trouble if they tell an adult they've seen a gun. For older children, tell them to leave any situation where an unsupervised gun may be present. It is important to recognize that children are curious and often do touch and handle guns, and even pull the trigger, even when we have told them not to. So even though we strongly recommend you talk to them, it's important to know we can't rely on that alone to keep them safe. The A in SMART stands for asking about places your children play, including before play dates or sleepovers. This can feel intimidating at first, but if you include it in general conversations about safety, like asking about pools or unsupervised screen time, it will become easier. You might have to practice it a couple times before it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And that's okay, because it's an important step you can take to keep your kids and other kids safe. R is for recognizing the signs of depression and risks of suicide, especially in teenagers. While most people who attempt suicide don't die if they attempt another way and are able to receive the help they need, guns are fatal nine out of 10 times. Some signs to look for include prolonged sadness and depression, changes in mood or behavior, hopelessness, sleeping too much or too little, withdrawing, isolation, aggression or agitation, increased alcohol or drug use, and talking about killing themselves. It's also important to know that for teenagers, having access to a gun is an even bigger risk factor for suicide by gun than having depression. And this is surprising to a lot of people. This is because teenagers are often impulsive and the time between feeling down and attempting suicide is often very short. With a gun, there is no second chance. If you have a concern, you can call 800-273-8255 24 hours a day. Lastly, T is for tell others to be smart too. Make this a part of your conversations with your friends, family, and caregivers. Use social media, and you may find all types of resources for kids at besmartforkids.org. We want to be partners with you in keeping kids safe, so thanks for watching.